another very popular policy over the last five years in terms of uh, students and probably their, their parents, whether they have to pay for it, is the tuition fee grant. Welsh Government pays five and a bit thousand pounds every student every year, no matter where they study. It's very expensive and we, we've discussed many times that the merits and otherwise of that. However, in this manifesto, there's hardly anything about what you will do in future. All you're saying is a better package of student support than is on offer in England. Well, they don't do anything in England, so you're saying better than nothing in terms well, of let me give, let me give you this commitment we know that the welsh conservatives and plaid cymru will make welsh students pay nine thousand pounds i want to hear fees. your i want to hear your views not, welsh not labor this. will not make welsh students pay nine thousand pound tuition fees we believe the it's for others to make the case for change we say in our manifesto we will listen to what the diamond review has to say the first minister has said he doesn't like the idea of means testing he also doesn't like the idea of restricting welsh students to study but none of this in is a commitment is it? what we are going to do obviously is we are we are taking forward the scheme that we have which has saved welsh graduates twenty two thousand pounds debt on average we are making a commitment we will not charge welsh students nine thousand pound university fees unlike the welsh conservatives but you won't hold Cymru. it for the next five years really what you're saying is there's a review which will come back in september and you'll wait to see what that review tells you to do well i think it's for others to make the case for change the higher education sector needs but to be able you're to not, but you're, not, you're not saying that you will continue to have what's there on offer a, now. there is a review underway we know that the scheme that we have underway at the moment is actually cheaper than we feared it would be when we launched it, when we announced it in 2010. It's for others to make the case for change. We'll look at what Diamond says. The higher education sector, if it wants to see change, needs to be able to demonstrate that Welsh students, for example, can study every subject but in Wales. Is this, is this fair? I mean, I just think all the other parties, and you can discuss the merits or otherwise of it, I'd rather we don't, but have at least policies which we can look at, well, scrutinise and offer. I'm surprised. I'm surprised that the other parties have preempted the Diamond review, to be honest with you. We need to see what the Diamond Review says. We'll consider that. But we've been very clear. We will not ask Welsh students to pay £9,000. But, but the Diamond fees. Review, in December, you know this, published 153 pages of statistics, documents, everything, a treasure trove of information. It's all there for you to base your formula and well, policies on. There may you're, just, just, there may be, you're just shying away from a difficult may be decision. No, I don't think we are. We don't know yet what is going to happen with the UK government on their, issue, their, their funding of higher education in England. They might lift the cap. It might be the University of Bristol, University of Manchester, is able to charge £15,000 fees. Now, that has radical implications for everybody. We would look, need to look at those things in the round. We're not going to preempt Diamond, but we're not going to make Welsh students pay £9,000 tuition fees. Hey, Andrews, thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. That's it 